All right, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2. We started colonizing ourselves. The last time we got uh, New Zealand, parts of New Zealand. We got this. We didn't get this, but that's kind of good because now England and France are doing a tug of war over it. And the Philippines broke off from Spain. And I was thinking about declaring war on them because of the iron down here. But, I don't think I would have a good time in war unless I had England on my side. And if I'm going to be taking on tens of infamy from uh, declaring war and taking war goals, I want to be doing that as early as possible. They only have, I think, three states? Region map mode. This one this one and this one so that's going to be a total of 40 infamy 10 10 and 20 uh, which I can certainly afford before the end of the game there's a huge population here um, the only other state I could th or if, the only other place I could think about attacking is either Dainam who's allied to China or Siam who's allied with no one but the only state I can reach right now is this one um And they have a few states around. I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Who wants this? Luang Prabang. Uh, I could attack at Luang Prabang too, but they're they're not uh, ocean-going people. Working on interchangeable parts at the moment. It's a very good tech. Probably get a couple of army techs before. Maybe just one before uh, 1860. We'll see. Oh, that's a good game. Turn the speed all the way up. Let's not do that. Uh, any projects? Yes. Railroads. Realist literature. Nice. 10 prestige. That's always good. I'm number 7 in prestige now. It's usually better to get prestige rather than anything else in, in, in an event. Unless it's going to give you like a claim or something, which is obviously way better. If, if an event basically gives you land, that's the best. Acquire Palestine from Egypt. Oh, come on, USA. Go over the gusto. Manifest Destiny is really good. Is there any war goal, war justifications I know about? Afghanistan's trying to go after Persia. That's not a good idea. Advanced roasting ore. Iron production. That's great. I don't actually produce any iron. That gives us more of a reason to go after the Philippines, I guess. Do you have any um, naval bases I can build? Put some railroads here. I think I have railroads. Oh, this needs a railroad. You gotta, like, get to mountain areas. Uh, to make sure that you're getting everything. Because uh, the terrain determines where you can place railroads. And I think I have this level 2 railroads. Oh. Looks like we can... Queensland. I've never done a just creating a protector and letting it sit there. I believe it costs less uh, points. No, it actually costs more points to leave it as a protector. Alright. Nobody else can uh, colonize this stuff, so I'm not really worried about which places I do that in. I'm going to get a crisis here soon. Alright. Um, what about England? Does England want to be our bro? Um, we're friendly. What are they? 82, so they, they are focusing points on us. 
So once they add us to their sphere, they will accept an, an alliance. Then I can go after the Philippines or Siam. Burma is... They're also friendly with Burma, but they will intervene. In, oh, actually, they sphered them. Never mind. That's even less of a reason to go after them. I could also do something like going after Abu Dhabi or Oman. Abu Dhabi is a clear option because they suck. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Um, and if English... England gets us in a war with France, we could go out for Madagascar. Uh, that's a, it's kind of a tough sell, though. I don't want to be involved in a, a war with France. The Ottoman Empire has fallen in status and lost its position and great power to Sweden. Good job. Uh, we're number 12. Expansionism. Oh, I lost plurality. I hate that. Plurality's good. Ooh, Austria's siding with France. That's normal. Um, let's get army professionalism. Yeah, that'll be done. Uh, well before. I usually like to wait a, w a year and a half, depending on how much. I'm actually getting quite a bit of... Oh, they're at war with Persia. Huh. Interesting. Can't <laughs> Oh, because they're allied with the Ottomans. Okay. Uh, they're allied with Egypt, excuse me. I wonder... if this is actually going to do anything. Uh... Hmm. Cut the United Kingdom down to size. This is a standard thing. Take capitals and debated in South Australia and South Australia. Well, we want protectionism. Or interventionism. Okay. So if I'm thinking of going after either places, I should move my troops up here. They're not doing any good sitting down in Australia. Can I build any armies? I can. Let's build some more guards. And we'll build a couple more. Let's start uh, converting to steam transports. Since those are better. We'll keep our old ones for now. Economic policy. Again, we'll go for interventionism. 77, wow. I think this is going to go to war. I'll go. I'll pick full citizenship. Oh, but before it goes to war, we can create our protectorate. Let's do this one. This one looks bigger. <laughs> oh, right. I didn't do the colony. The colony actually costs less points. I don't understand. Oop, there it goes. Hmm. UK just got stronger as you did that. So basically this is going to depend on how strong North Germany is, basically. If they can withstand the attack of three powers. Because England will usually only fight France. Uh, 
and Afghanistan's attacked Persia, probably because they were at war with the Mus or the Muslims, the Ottomans. They are Muslim. It's not really the point, though. Okay, so it looks like Persia is going to be. Oh, Ottomans are going crazy. Okay, after this, we need to stop and wait for some points. We're number 10 now. So, how is England. Are they sphering us? Ninety four percent or ninety four points. Yep, they're going to sphere us. Good. Okay, so France got this colony. That's bad. That's terrible for Germany. Because it means that they can't uh, declare war on France for the core. Which is of no concern to me, obviously. Okay, if England is going to sphere us, then I could probably start justifying my war on the Philippines. Love and infamy, I can I can afford it. I only have one infamy right now. Damn it! <laughs> Fuck. Oh well. You gonna sphere me, bro? Do it. There we go. Yes. I don't know why there's not a pop-up that tells us when we're sphered by somebody. It's probably in the options, I just don't have it selected. How you doing, Siam? So I can wait for the better CBs to um, go after Siam, really. Oh, I should... Uh... Did my ships build? They did, okay. Like I said, I can keep the old ones, even there, even though they're a little bit expensive. Uh, you can hang out. I'll put you here for now. Okay. Morale, that's good. Look at production, awesome. Western Australia. Yeah, we're gonna have more than enough. One of the things I was worried about was attacking somebody in Southeast Asia is that I would run out of um, points for colonizing. Because every every uh, overseas colony you have costs points. Actually, the uh, these ones do too. That's hardly a concern, though. Alright, I need to spend my diplomacy points. I'm almost maxed out. USA. Germany and France.
Uh, I could start increasing my relations with the Russians. The Russians are going to be up there. I don't care about things like Austria. They're mostly a regional power. Which doesn't make sense to call them out when they're... But, I mean, what is Austria or Sweden going to do to me, really? See, I'm importing a ton of iron, or coal and steel. And liquor, even. Don't I create liquor? Mission to the Philippines. It's rather embarrassing blunder. Several of our soldiers in the uniforms of the Philippines have been caught while trying to sneak across the border. While rumors that their task was to stage a border incident to justify our invasion are totally unfounded, it would be wise not to provide any fresh fuel for the fire right now. Serbia declares war on the Ottomans. Sweet, I guess. That seems crazy. Oh, Russia's at war with them. They intervene because of Persia. Yes. Russia's um, intervened, I think. I should check that for sure. Uh, yes. Okay. How my empire goes bankrupt? Well, it looks like somebody's falling out of stuff. That's not good for them. So at 70%. They're doomed now. They can't fight Russia. <laughs> Russia's crazy strong. It's a good thing they uh, decided to... Actually, I think Afghanistan's going to win their war. Um, but the Ottomans aren't. Nitroglycerin, awesome. We'll get events that all of our provinces are going to start exploding now. Go. Oh, where was that? Uh, where was that? Something that started with a W. Here? Yes, Cold Rush. Nice. The sooner these can be turned into full states, the better. I am er, six months away from being able to research awesomeness. And then we'll, I'm definitely, definitely going to get the southern state. If I can prevent them from fighting my navy, or prevent them from uh, getting down there to fight me, that would be good. They have nine brigades and nine ships. I have, what's it say, 10 brigades and 15 ships, so I'm stronger than them on paper. I th think they have more text than me, though. Um, military. Five of thirty army tech, and I have eight of thirty. Okay, so no, I I have tech on them. I just researched an army tech, so they start with Spain's tech, and Spain is not very okay. So we got our acquire state, and commerce raiders are fairly strong compared to sailing ships. Um, unless they have some capitals, which I don't think is really possible at this point. So we want uh, the bottom one. I think that's Min... Min... Medando. And this is going to be like our Mexico in comparing it to... The United Kingdom will join us. That's good. Let's make sure that... Yes... We would have liked to be your friends, but you decided you didn't want to get taken over. So we'll start with Sulu. Yes. So the United Kingdom has leadership in the war. As would be expected.
Alright. Let's go find their navy. Oh, they do have capitals. They only have two, though. And I've got steamships. Let's go see if we can fight them. Uh, my commerce radio is getting blown up, but they're going to lose morale before... Yeah, I'm sinking some of their ships. If I lose a couple commerce raiders, it's not that big, big a deal. They're pretty cheap. Let's actually build some more. What else are they for if not to fight mans? Sandy Desert got a gold rush. Nice. Uh, this is uh, realistic. There's a lot of gold and precious metal out in uh, the gold rush. Is, is just precious metal. There we go. Yeah. Crush their navy. Alright. Um, and I didn't lose any ships. Let's go to Brunei. Okay. That's nice. So, gotta make sure I'm paying attention. So, how much war score was that for just taking out their fleet? Only 1%? It's because of that naval battle. Tell me. It's not gonna tell me. Um. Yeah, I'm not even worried about mobilizing. There isn't any reason to do that. My cat is jumping up onto the desk. I'm missing some newspapers. This war is Philippine insults. Oh no! Australia expands. Solar eclipse, huh? I wonder if that's historical. Glimpse into the year 2000. A prominent futurologist has predicted insight into the distant year of 2000 AD. Speaking to our futurology correspondent, he said by the year 2000, each landed gentleman will own at least five hot air balloons. <laughs> nice. Netherlands fears our might. I guess we do border them. Woohoo. Okay. Take that, Philippines. Uh, looks like they can come down here. I'm gonna let them... Oop. Okay, they stopped. Looks like the Civil War is triggered. The U.S. Civil War, I should say. I'm not attacking across this gap, though. That would be crazy. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm officially scared now. Alright. 10%. I need to occupy Sulu. Alright, we're gonna leave our damaged ship here. Put you here. And then I don't think they can cross then. Okay, and then we can occupy Sulu. Yep, okay. Oop. Brunei Nationalists. Well, I gotta deal with that. What are you? That is actually a big ship. Okay. Um... I'm going to come here. No, not you. And then we're going to get... This 
some of these guys to go fight this uh, revolt. Okay, my commerce radar is fixed. Gold Rush in Gibson's Desert. Where's Gibson's Desert? Oh shit! <laughs> So, oops. So they can't cross here. I could add a war goal, but I don't. If I added a war goal, it would be 11 infamy. I can't afford it. That'd be an awful lot of war score. Hmm. Considering they have more troops than we do right now, uh, and my relative inability to. See, England has control of the war. Once it reaches um, the goal that I want, they will instantly do white peace. So there isn't any reason to to do that. Not white peace. They'll they'll take they'll finish the war in uh, in our favor. I believe we can't even ask for peace. Yeah. Peace treaty can only be signed between the Philippines and the United Kingdom. Okay. Whatever they're accepting. Who is this? The Netherlands dude. All right. After this, we can bait them into an attack. If this ends the war, then so be it. All right. Did my commerce raider? Nope. They're almost done. There we go. And that should be. That's probably what I need. And then I'll get a ticking war score for holding the war goal. There we go! Now we have iron! Yay! And then I can let my infamy cool down. Uh, let's build a naval base right away. And all that stuff. Yes! So now we got this. Cool. Or cut Serbia down to size. Russia's crushing them, though. Alright, let's go back and talk to our friend Nose. Germany has sphered Denmark. I don't know why they did that. Oh, that, that was from before. I'm behind on France and... The USA. Who have sphered Hawaii, but have not annexed them yet. They probably just don't have Manifest Destiny, which is the thing they require to sphere them, I believe. Okay, so we're almost up to a million people now. Well, not almost. We're a little bit over halfway. We're going to stay here because it's very likely that we're going to be going to attack other people. Either Siam, who still doesn't have any allies. Is anybody friendly with them? 
cordial. Hmm. I don't know. So soon after another war, is that a good idea? Probably not. Apparently I have more guys than can fit in steam transport, or... My steam transports are... Yeah, I need one more steam transport. Okay. I can build a steam transport in Brunei, so I'll just do that. Yeah. Easy. It'll actually be done before some of these commerce raiders will. And there we go. More research points. I'm going to get uh, Biologism. And then we're going to start putting points into Industry Tech again. I, I might get another Army Tech, actually. 35. Okay. So I don't think the Ottomans are going to get anything from Egypt. Burke and Wills. I think we get this because we have completed our thing. Seeking the reward for a south to north journey of crossing Australia, Robert Burke and William Wills were able to make it all the way to the Gulf of, Gulf of Carpentaria, only to perish at Cooper's Creek on their return journey. Their base party has given them up their lost and left Cooper's Creek only eight hours before the return. Huh. Oh, great job. Is that a province? It's Tennant Creek. So any bureaucrats in these places, huh? I only have one uh, point, but I think I can afford to focus bureaucrats rather than soldiers, since I already have a bunch of soldiers. I'm going to need to get more artillery soon. But hopefully I can start getting soldiers in some of my colonies to fill out my other positions. Girl from Cardiff. She fell in a mine. Luxembourgian fear. Fire brigade established. They're new, but they're good. Very succinct. Alright, you are the steam transport. You go here. I would put me at 15 infamy if I got discovered fairly soon. Um, I can always wait for the good CB to completely annex them. So, Korea's in Eng er, US sphere too. Japan's allied with Korea. Oh, they're secondary power. They they westernized. Good job, Japan. Hopefully they don't decide to go after me. Let's be friends with them. I can't. So now we don't have to import iron. We're actually uh, exporting iron. Eaten by cannibals! The Australian Botanical Expedition we dispatched some time ago hasn't been heard in quite a while. Yesterday we received a troubling re report. The camp is deserted, scattered about the former campgrounds, are trace remnants of what I believe is signs of a struggle. Tracks lead back farther away into the vast, hospitable hell and beyond. I believe this to be the end of the Australian Botanical Expedition of 1860. Seems our expedition has vanished. Eaten by cannibals. Oh, I annexed Madagascar. Alright, so this is still something we have to have colonial negotiations for. Hopefully I can beat others to this stuff. But it's going to be a scramble out here between me, the Dutch, and England, and now France, but they probably don't have a port built here yet. English have a port here, I know. Ah, Japan broke their lines with Korea. 
number 10 now. I think we've probably been number 10. Let's start. Um, Japan's going to just shoot up there and score. So... Let's go talk to them and be friends. They're just below us, yeah. Be friends with them! I could get a capital ship. I don't think that's really a proper thing to do right now. 